In this tutorial, I'm going to show you all about the rows in WP Baker Page Builder, all the options you have for a row, and the way you can change the sizes and add elements, remove elements, things like that. And this is part of the WP Baker Page Builder playlist. You can get to that through a link in the description down below or in the card above. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you like WordPress tutorials and tips and tricks, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, if you like deals, check out the half off hosting deal I negotiated for you with Inmotion Hosting. Nearly every plan is half off, some are less, but every plan has a discount that you could use for yourself or for your clients or whatever. Feel free to go check that out in the link down below or the card that popped up. And with that out of the way, let's head to this tutorial. This is going to be really quick because rows are the most basic thing in the WP Bakery page builder. I'm just going to add a new page. I'm going to call it row testing. Click on save draft. Then I'll click on the front end editor. And right now when we don't have anything on the page, there are no rows. But as soon as we add an element, a row is going to show up. I'm going to click on add element to see all the elements. We can add just a row with nothing in it. Or if you click on anything, anything else besides row, you're going to have something put into that row. So if we add a video player, it's going to open the video player settings and it's going to add a row right here. So here's our row. It has a Vimeo video by default in there. That's very nice. And this is our entire row. There's a dotted, if you hover over, there's a dotted dashed line that encircles the row or encloses the row. You have some row settings up here. If you click on this little arrow, it has some row settings. You can edit the row. And the row settings are quite basic. Just some general ones you can stretch across the page. This is where you can add parallax effects as well, which is in a different video. You can have a video in the background, which is pretty neat. And then you can have CSS animations that bring the row in a spe specific way. So if you choose any one of these items, we can see how it animates on the animated button on the right hand side. So let's go uh, fade in left big. And that's what it will look like when that row loads on the page. You can also disable the row. The design options, there's the same options as in every element in WP Bakery Page Builder. You can set margins, borders, and padding around the row. Choose your border style if you have a border. Choose your border radius if you want one. Choose your background image. Settings for the background image. And you can simplify these controls over here for this full display you can choose specific margin border and padding for every side of the row. If you simplify, you put in one value and that applies to all sides. I'm gonna click on save changes and close this. Further row options are how many columns you have. By default, you have just one column. If you click on this little hamburger icon, you get a bunch of other options that are predefined. I'm just gonna click on one quarter, one half, one quarter. Click on update. And the elements that are inside the row are going to fit to one side, and then you can drag and drop them around. So if you want the video in the middle, just drag and drop it into the middle. You can define your own layouts as long as your fractions equal one. That's the only requirement. And then once you have your row done and you're happy with your row, this plus button down at the bottom here adds another row. Choose another element. And then we have another row added down below. I was a little impatient there, I clicked it twice, but now I can show you how to delete a row. Click on the right hand arrow, then click on the X. Ask you if you want to delete that section, click OK, and then that row is gone. And now we have two rows on this page, and what you can't do is move rows to be beside each other. I can't move this row to be to the right side of this first row, I can only move it above and below. If you want to have elements that line up left to right, they have to be elements inside of a row. That's about all there is to rows. As you may or may not know, WP Bakery Page Builder is a paid for plugin that you buy from Code Canyon. You may have received it built into a theme, so you may already own it. If that's the case, I have a course that you might be interested in. It is a complete WP Bakery Page Builder course that shows you how to use all the elements and create awesome pages with it. I can give that to you at a steep discount because you already have this plugin. Just email me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com and let me know and I'll send out a coupon code to you. If you do not have this plugin yet, 
but you want that course, if you buy the plugin through my affiliate link, which is in the description down below, you can have the course for free. And buying it through that link does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Invato and WP Bakery, they give me a portion of their sale. So it's no extra cost to you. They just give me a portion of their sale. And in return for doing that, I will give you the course for free. All you have to do is click on the link in the description down below. Make sure you open it in cognito mode or in a different browser or after you clear your cash and cookies. Otherwise, my account may not be credited. And then I, I can't tell if you bought it or not. Uh, but... When you do buy it, you will get a receipt. Forward that receipt to me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com. And then I will cross-reference your receipt with what is listed as referrals on my account, what's been credited to me as referrals. And if they match up, I will send you free access to that course that you can begin accessing immediately. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below and possibly in the card that popped up if I had any remaining cards. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.